The Glenlivet Distillery in Scotland produces some of the finest single malt scotch whiskey in the world. Founded in 1824, the Glenlivet brand is the biggest selling single malt whiskey in the United States and the second biggest selling single malt brand globally. They make nearly 6 million liters of single malt Scottish whiskey every single year. They produce single malt Scottish whiskeys that are 12, 15, 16, 18, 21, and 25 years old. Prices range from around $40 for the 12 year old to $25,000 for a 50 year old. Guess what though, boys and girls, now they're making Tide Pods. What the fuck? On October 2nd, the Glenlivet Company put out a tweet that says, no ice, no stir, no glass. We're redefining how whiskey can be enjoyed, introducing the Glenlivet Capsule Collection. What exactly does that mean, Glenlivet? The Glenlivet has released an original whiskey drinking experience. A collection of edible cocktail capsules made from seaweed, meaning no need for a glass, ice, or a cocktail stirrer. Thai Air, one of the world's best bars, created three new Founders Reserve based recipes for whiskey lovers to try together. To enjoy them, pop the capsule in your mouth and take a bite to release the delicious cocktail ingredients. The Glenlivet is the first spirits brand in the world to team up with sustainable packaging startup Notpla, who developed the capsule technology. The Glenlivet Capsule Collection sets new standards on how whiskey can be enjoyed. The Glenlivet, original by tradition. There's nothing I like more than a fine single malt scotch whiskey than a fine single malt scotch whiskey wrapped in seaweed. I don't know if this is the best marketing ploy that I've ever seen. Are they trolling us? Are they serious? I don't know. Apparently, they're actually going to be serving those at the bar they just talked about, one of the finest bars in the world. The capsules will be served at Tayer Plus Elementary, a London bar whose owner and bartenders collaborated with Glenlivet to create the cocktails through October 13th. They're not yet available in the US, and it is unclear if they'll ever hit store shelves or are a one time concoction aimed at trolling for outrage. If they're looking for outrage, they sure found it. The comments are absolutely hilarious, and there are some people who are genuinely mad at Glenlivet for doing this. The video video has eight and a half million views, 6.8 thousand retweets, and 27.4 thousand likes. Time to get the boys together and suck some pods. <laughs> some people are genuinely mad about this. These capsules are very bad for the image of scotch. In particular, you're cheapening Glenlivet. Scotch is meant to be sipped. It's complex flavors enjoyed in micro sips. As soon as you treat it like tequila or cheap pooch, your brand is dead. In this campaign now. I'm trying to think of what the advantages of that would be. Um, you could put them in your butt. <laughs> no, 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 no. Who looked at a glass of scotch and was like, you know what? Tide Pod. No one asked for this. Wait, I remember this episode of Mad Men. Tide Pods, except they have whiskey. Can't wait to bite your sack. Guys, I don't know how to tell you this. Teens are going to put these in their butts. <laughs> Teens, I'm 37. Jello shots. You reinvented jello shots. Some evil genius marketer produced advertisement that just destroyed the carefully cultivated mystique of the Glenlivet brand. These are perfect for driving stuck in traffic have a glen of it kids in the back seat getting on your nerves have two road trip one for the road one for the ditch what could go wrong carry some in your pocket for an afternoon pick me up put some in the candy dish on your desk at work you'll be so popular this destroys the experience of tasting good scotch you can't nose it you can't sip it you can't fold your tongue and then flatten your tongue inside your mouth exposing different flavor receptors you can't break a bottle over someone's head never listen to marketing but you can put it in your butt which is a whole new whiskey experience funny story about that. I told this story on my stream before. We had a bunch of Marines get busted on base because they came to work like super hammered drunk, but they didn't smell like alcohol. Turns out they had been taking tampons and putting it in whiskey and then whoop. Honestly, I still don't think these would like whoop without breaking. They don't look like they're that tough. Hopefully they sell them in the United States one day. I can take them and test that out. I mean, uh, I mean, test out drinking these. I'm not saying you're wrong. I'm just saying that the times I had whiskey without a glass were not during the times my life was going well. Should I use these on permanent press or gentle cycle? Your scientists were so preoccupied with whether or not they could, they never stopped to think if they should. It's a scotch gusher. Are people having trouble pouring it into a glass? Amazing, I've always said that the problem with whiskey is that it's served in a glass instead of an edible condom. <laughs> Suit one, millennials aren't buying our scotch. Why? Suit two, probably because all they do is vape and eat Tide Pods. Suit one, crazy pitch, but hear me out. You want another viral video right now, Glenn Lovett? Hear, hear me out. 
Glenlivet Jewel Pods. Oh shit, someone actually tried one. Rachel Toback, who is the CEO of Social Proof Sex, Social Engineering and Hacking. Last one, last blend letter capsule is a spice flavor. You're supposed to swallow the whiskey, Rachel. I want to try it, at least, I guess. I think they should have went for the Hail Mary and stuck some of that $25,000, 50-year-old scotch whiskey inside of one of those bad boys. Get people really riled up. Let me know in the comments below what you think of this. You think it's just a viral marketing stunt? You think they're really going to mass produce some of these bad boys? Everyone, this is Donut. I hope you enjoyed this little journey down the Glenlivet rabbit hole. Please have a fantastic day. People are going to be putting Glenlivet in the rabbit hole, that's for sure.